And there, have some snap. Alrighty, how's it going? Yes, I'm still where I was. No, the house is not sold yet. Dang it. Anyway, I got inspirated by watching Leanne doing her version of the self-acceptance that is being done as a collaboration by the KRF group. That's the Keep It Real group that she's part of. And I'm going, self-acceptance, I can work with that. Yeah. So, this is me. So far, the only thing I have put on my face is some goop. Not that goop. But it's this lovely stuff that's an antiperspirant lotion. Yeah, they don't tell you you should use it on your face, but I do. I have a terrible problem with overproducing sweat. So I've got it around my hairline and over top of my eyebrows and across my nose and the chipmunk cheeks. Anyway, this is what I look like most of the dang time when I'm not doing anything except like, well, you know, packing up the house or just sitting here playing on the computer or, get, or whatever else. This is what I looked like the whole time I was doing my schoolwork. Ain't got nothing going on. Ha! Now, don't mind me. I'm likely to put some pictures of the house up at some point so I can try and tempt people to come by it. Um, but I'm also going to put up a picture of one of my finished looks from like two years ago now. I think it was two. No, it was 2019. And honey, I looked good. Really looked good. However, since that time, I'll be 65 in a couple of months. There you go. 65. And there's my galloping dog. <laughs> Silly goof. Um, I have shifted body habitus issues, and my face is saggier than it was. The hubby just took the doggies out, and now he's getting their little snack cookies. They get little snack cookies for being good. They're so cute. Anyway, this is what I'm dealing with. At some point, my grandson may come running in. Could happen. One of the granddaughters could come running in. My son could come moseying in. He moseys. He doesn't run. My daughter-in-law could mosey in. My husband could walk through again. This is how, I, how my life is, because I'm in the room I'm in the bedroom, but it's a big part of this house for just doing stuff because my computer's in here. I do all of the household books and all that kind of stuff. So, as well as doing writing and yada 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 yada, and the dogs sleep. The dogs sleep on the bed more often than I do, at least during the day, but. I have had some serious body changes because being diabetic, I have to watch this, that, and the other thing. No, I am not going to talk about numbers, but the more my body changes because of changes in my habits, the droopier everything gets on top of just getting older in general. 
I've got little wrinkles around my eyes. I got hooded eyes that are drooping farther. They droop too much farther, and I'm going to have to get one of them eye lifts just so I can see the drive. And those are not considered cosmetic. It's like it's either get them fixed or I'm going to have these folds all the way down here, which is not going to be good. Um, but this is me. Other, Like I said, other than that sweat killer, you're looking at, at what I look at every day, and it don't bug me. This is me. I made friends with my body and my face a long time ago. As long as my eyes stay blue, I'm good. Now, I've got <clears throat> stuff that I do for certain parts of my skin when I go to start doing makeup and stuff. This is the Sun Touchable primer from e.l.f. that's got the sunscreen in it. That's, not, that's what else I've got is I've got, you know, the moisturizer and all that crap and the, sun, the basic sunscreen to start with. Now, depending on what I'm doing, cause look to color it out. I very often can get away was just putting a little of this sunscreen on if I'm doing a little bit of face before going out. I have a tendency that if I've got enough time before I go out, I will do some face just so I get a little bit of evenness in my skin tone. Because, you know, it's not very even. Got a little sun damage and pigmentation issues. Working in, Working in the city, my daddy was a bus driver, but he was born a farmer. So, we had a bit of a farm in the backyard. You know, one of those quarter acre tract home lots that they put up a lot of when the guys got back from World War II and such. So we had this little cracker box tract home in one of the new suburbs just outside of Washington, D.C. And now I'm being weird because I don't normally put the main face on much before I do the eyes, but I'm feeling like whatever today. Anyway, now see that don't do too bad for just putting on a little something to even out some of the tones. Not too bad. Oh, I'm breaking out again. It's the heat. It started to get hot here. We're in between the edges of the high desert and the mountains here on the east side of Oregon, better known as dang near Idaho. We're closer to Boise than we are our own state capital. Now, there's a bunch of stuff I didn't do. 
before I came in here. I don't know if you can see it, but I got this mustache. And I got these chin whiskers in here. I shaved these the other day, so they're not as prominent. But I got chin whiskers down here. I have PCOS. It's a thing with PCOS. You're going to have facial hair. Ain't nothing but a thing. I don't worry about them half the time until the ones here start getting way along and I'm going, oh, this has got to go because it bugs me. It just irritates me. And being right fair in the skin except for the yellow undertones. Big chunk of my heritage is from Western Europe. Got a lot of, of Irish and Scots and Welsh running around in there. And the whole of the Gaelic crew has a bad habit of having rosacea. Plus, I've got lupus, so I get broke out across here all the dang time. It's what it is. Now, I'm going to get out my little concealer thing. It Where'd you go, you little buzzard? Ah, there it is. Oh. And I'm going to put a little concealer under my eyes because if you look under this one, I've got a huge red, red, huge blue vein running through there. And the more the body habitus shifts, the deeper these pouches get, and the more that, that blue vein, if it's standing up because I'm aggravated, because it will. If it's standing up because I'm aggravated, it looks like I've got a black eye. And this just kind of stops the questions before we get started. I've even had my husband look at me and go, did you hit yourself in the eye? And it's like, no, honey, it's the, it's that rotten vein sticking up the one on this side isn't quite as deep of a blue and it's set a little farther down in the pouch so it doesn't really show up as much now I will be in and out doing some stuff because my husband is making me breakfast so I will be in and out during some of this so when you start seeing the, the scene cuts I'm not really doing that much editing I'm just getting rid of the stuff where I've got the camera shut off so I can go to breakfast you know Little things like that. However, that is kind of some of the stuff that happens around here anyway. He'll decide to go cook something and then call me at the table. Or I'll decide to get up and go do something and then call him. It's like whoever gets at the coffee pot first does that. It's like I got up this morning and made iced tea. Because we don't have air conditioner in this part of the house. Nope, not this part. Most of the rest of the bedrooms do, but that gets to be expensive on the electric bills, you know? Anyway, I may leave this alone and not put any other layer on. I'm good. There was the other layer I was thinking about putting on is the Elf Camo CC Cream. But 
it just be an, it would be another layer, yet a third layer of sunscreen. But I don't think I want to bother. I don't want to get too much stuff going on here. It just no, not today. I'm not feeling it. Now, depending on the weather and what's going on, I keep switching back and forth between powder stuff and cream stuff, and that's th for the eye makeup and everything else. So, you know, speaking of eye makeup, let me get this out because I'm not going to finish the rest of the face yet. And I'm going to be using cream products. So I've got the Ace Beauté eyeshadow amplifying base. And it's in light. So it's got a little bit of color. Which is nice because then it I don't you can't you don't see as much of the blue veins in this part of my eyelids either. But yeah, see, I am, the, the, the crepe skin is starting to creep up even faster, and God help me, it's on my hands and my arms, and it, it's not fair. If you have never seen this lady who did a parody of single ladies and it's called the wrinkle ladies you need to go watch that video you really 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 do it is great she's got some people that are on there as the backup dancers that are dancing in orthopedic shoes okay And it's, it's, it's a parody, but it's a celebration of wrinkles because they're, they're, they're special. They really are. They mean that I have survived everything that has been thrown at me so far, and I haven't given up yet. And I think that's pretty interesting. Because, yeah, I'm not ready to give up yet. I ain't doing it. Not, not, not. All right, where'd I put my eyebrow pencil? Any of y'all seen my eyebrow pencil? Which way did I put it? I just got it. Can I have it, please? I just got the dang thing. Where is the evil bastard? Yes, I said it. I'm getting a little... itchy about the situation with how much... YouTube has started really going after the creators for language and stuff. And it, you know, people who have been doing this a long time, the regulars know exactly what to expect. There's no reason to be getting all hit up over a few words. If you're worried about your children seeing it, don't watch it while your children are in the room, you know? That's how you fix that. You don't drive everybody else out the, out the way because somebody don't like a word. Well, 
Wherever the dang thing has got to, I can't find it. It's playing hide and go seek. I have looked through all this stuff a couple of times now. Uh, annoying. You know what? I ain't gonna have eyebrows today, looks like. Wait a minute, I think I've, why is it in my brushes? This is not for the brushes. This doesn't go in with the brushes. I wonder if my grandchildren have been in here messing. Oh, yeah, little bitty tiny pencil. Little bitty thing. Haven't used it that much yet. I got it from Timu because it was cheap. And it does work a little better than the absolutely OG Elf one. Because the OG Elf one in the white package is a bit stiff and waxy. And this one is not so bad. But it's still comparable price. And yes, I still do pluck my eyebrows just a little bit because I get some of them down here, I get some of them in here. No, I do not glue them up. Yes, occasionally I will put a little bit of the eye color in it just for the heck of it. Not often. There we go. Now you can see my eye. You can see, I was born quite well. And it got eventually darker and darker and darker until I got to this kind of mousy brown. That's when I started coloring my hair. <laughs> yes, indeed he do. I was not having it. Woo! Breakfast delivery yet. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh -huh. And I use the uh, queso. Anyway, as I was saying, now when my the hair on my head got darker, except for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are strawberry blonde. And if I don't put something on, you can't see them. It's really annoying. And my eyelashes are hard to see because the lower lashes are, they belong on a blonde. The upper lashes are not much better, and they're a soft brown. So, yeah. So, if I'm going out of the house to look, go like grocery shopping or the doctor's office, and I don't feel like putting on any other makeup, I will still hit it with a little mascara and some liner just so you can see where my eyes are. It's sad. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, I'm not buying too much makeup from Timu currently. Just because, if you haven't heard about the ones that I was talking about with, with the Beauty Bay logo on the stuff and all that, I'll, like, try and remember to put the 
link to that to those two videos down in the description. Um, yeah, it's just like, yeah, no, you're not Beauty Bay. And they put the name Miss Laura on it as the manufacturer in that book. And currently they've got, if you put in e.l.f. makeup, they will take you to a location that's got a couple of tubes, one in a blue, one that's a blue-green gel, and one that's a pink gel, and wouldn't you know, they're primers. But it doesn't say e.l.f. on it. And I'm going, y'all are just like pushing. You know, other stuff like, you know, the, the, some of the clothes and some of the other bits and bobs that I've picked up is one thing, but the makeup is making me a little antsy, and I don't appreciate what they're doing. Now, being on Social Security, and both of us are on Social Security, we, we do have that limited budget issue going on, so, yeah. The prices at Timu, there's a bunch of the stuff that I'm going to keep getting. It just, there it is. But, anyway, I'm going to shut down for a second. Or at least it'll be kind of like a second for you guys. But I'm going to have my breakfast. Yes, it's that early here. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. But my little diabetic backside needs to eat. Like it or not. Be back. La 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 la. Anyway, yep, I'm back. I had my breakfast. Breakfast was good. Now, where was I? Let's see. I think, I, yeah, I just did my eyebrows. I think I was getting ready to get started on the eyeballs. Yeah, eyeballs. I got them. I got eyeballs. La, 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 la. Okay, that's the black one. There's the brown. Now, we all know that I am an elf child, regardless of how you look at it. I do love elf, including some of their older products. So, yeah, I've got the base coat from... Ace Beauté on there. Now I'm going to put some Elf on. Just got a call from the realtor. We're trying to work with somebody about a contract. Cross your fingers, people. Now this one Now, this one is soft beige. And I have a tendency to kind of start with this one just because it's a little darker than the um, primer. And I just, like I said, th this is the kind of stuff I do. Now, if I do a really schnazzy look, one of my big blowouts, which I dearly love to do. Even if I'm going to the grocery store, I don't take it off. If I've done one of those so I can show it to you guys, yeah. It's going to the grocery. I don't do them on purpose to go to the grocery. 
unless I'm feeling frisky that day and just want to get on people's nerves. Because I get attention. One of the last times I went to the doctor's office since my husband can't drive and we currently don't got a car, I take the little town cab. I go to the doctor's office and I decided what the heck I'm going to do up the face just because I can. <laughs> and I'm waiting out front of the doctor's office after doing my appointment and I'm waiting for the cab to get there and this little old man comes out of the doctor's office. Now he was he was about my age or so and he was probably in his his glory days was thought of as a pretty good looking thing. I'm sitting there minding my own business and he decides he's going to sidle up and gives me one of them lookovers and starts wanting to know if I need a ride and I'm like dude I said, no, I got the cab coming. He said, you sure you don't need a ride? And I said, nah, my husband's expecting me in the cab. And all of a sudden, he had to go. And it's like, mm-hmm. Look here, Romeo. Believe me, it's not just the youngins. All these men are crazy. Now, this one is called Rosewood. I'm just putting a little more interest in the outside corner there and into the crease. Now, because of the because of the hooded eyes, I tend to put a little more up above the actual creasity bit because if I don't ain't nobody gonna see it because I got all of this wrinkly stuff and it like just disappeared give it a rosewood back I got the right one. Now, I like this rosewood color a lot. And then I've got one, got a, one more darker brown. I've actually got one that's called Nude Linen. That if I'm doing something real pale, I start off with that one. And then this is the deeper, deepest I go on the outside. You know, like if I'm going somewhere that that needs some subtlety. Yes, I know I'm not subtle. Alrighty, that's starting to look okay. There's my dark one. Let's see. 
This one's called Cashmere. And I'm going, that's a little dark for Cashmere, but okay. Right there, in the corner just a bit. Kind of blob it in there. I'll take the brush and smear it around some. Anyway, I picked these up quite some time back. I don't know that they're making them anymore, but I love them. And they keep killing things about the time I discover them and decide I love them. It's really annoying. There. little bit of depth in that outside kind of smeared around a little bit now I've got most of the eye look done but now is when I get a little weirder just a little Shh. and I'm going to take one of these, um, pick me a color out of one of these, and put it on that inner lid area. And no, it's not going to match my shirt. It's going to match my mood. And I'm in one. I didn't mind real estate deals quite so much when I was the agent. But being the seller or being the buyer just plain sucks. Alrighty. Let's see. Get pink. It's pink. Now, I'm not going to put anything in particular under the lower lashes but I am going to put a little something with one of my pencils on the lower waterline and I'm going to do a little liner do my mascara and then finish up the rest of this mug and see how it comes out. stuff just piles up on itself. I earned them. I earned every one of these wrinkles and gray hairs. Speaking of gray hairs, I need to get this part trimmed up again. It's crawling up around and sticking up over the top of my ears. And I really hate that. Figure out what I want to stick in the far inner corner there. Yeah, I'm good with this. What you think? I just got a text message. 
Let me see if it's something important because while I was doing my breakfast and all that, I heard from the realtor again. And yeah, I'm sitting forward on my chair, so I look like I'm sitting up straighter. So yeah, I'm sitting on the front edge of it. So I'll be back. Alrighty, no news. <laughs> no news. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Anyway. Alright, I still like it. Let's see. What am I going to put? Let's put the. Put some bright blue in there. eyes are a little red. It's allergy season. I like these pencils. I don't want great goo gobs in my waterline, mainly because because of the fibro and all that other stuff. My eyes water and water and water and water and water, which is no fun. Let me tell you, it's really annoying. And some days it's not too bad, some days it's like a faucet. And I'm just not happy. Makes things really difficult, especially because it'll water up right here and start taking out the corner and taking out the water line. And it's like, damn, dude. Take a little bit of brown. Now, this is a little pot of cream eyeliner I picked up. Generic, cheap, no particular fancy brand name, you know. But it works really well. Just put it right there. I'm going to do a little bit on this part. I've already got something going all the way across. Now if I'm doing the really liquidy stuff. I don't bother with the bottom anyway. And I like this better because, believe me, with these crepey eyes, they will creep while you're trying to drag either a brush full of liquid eyeliner or a pencil across the base of your lashes.
and then you get all these little places where it's like bunched up. So you've got tiger stripes where it skips. And you go back and you try to fix it and it's already not in line. So, yeah, not worth it. That one's because my hands shake. And the better eye is this one. So I can see what I'm doing over here. This one I have to almost do by, by memory. Not blind. At least not yet. I've got to start a cataracts. I'm just glad it's only cataracts at this point. My grandmama lost one of her eyes to glaucoma. So every time I go get my eyes checked, I make sure they do the glaucoma check. Because I don't want to go there. A woman used to wig me out. She had a glass eye on one side because the glaucoma ended up causing all kinds of issues. And I got all shrunked up and then it got infected and it's like, no, 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 we got to go. This thing is out of here. I'm going to put a little more of this blue. Here. Yes, I'm going to check my phone. Let's dismiss that alarm so it doesn't ring in the middle. And I don't care about that one. I'll worry about that one later. There's nothing from the realtor. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. I do have a small liquid highlighter, but I don't see it. I wonder if my granddaughters have been borrowing again. Let's, uh, what's that? Nope. I got all these cute little bottles and things, but... Well, food. see how the white works. A little bitty white. That's not too bad.
did pick up some of the pink from the other side. But this is not too bad, just a little splash of white on that inner corner. This one's actually fairly matte, so it's like, it's not sitting there glittering at me. I'm going to try something silly, just because I can. This one's called Sweet Mint. just because and then we'll see how this comes out when I go to do a little editing well, I don't really do that much editing anyway because for the most part, my editing consists of trying to make sure that the color that I put on is what you see. So I, 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 I fiddle with the color just a bit to make sure it's deep. I got lousy lights, not the best camera, so I never know how the colors are going to come out. We'll see. Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. This stuff is probably old enough, I should have done thrown it out already. But I'm a cheapskate. things. I didn't think so, but apparently I must have. Excuse me while I go digging in the corner for something. I 
I have packed almost all of my makeup. I've got just a little bit left floating around here. my back hurts. <laughs> yeah, I put it, put it, I pulled them out and then I put them right back in the makeup bag. And I'm like, what the heck? Heck to what? Now, before they came out with the putty bronzer, they had this cream contour palette. This elf. And I'm still using this more than I use the putty bronzer. Because I like it better. The putty bronzer dries out too quick. I've had this thing for like yonks and it's still going just fine hmm. yeah I keep waiting for the realtor to call back and say we have a contract I don't see it yet. <laughs> Maybe you'll get to be one of the first to, to, to know. Anyway, we got this really nice little house here. Well, it's... They listed it as three bedrooms because that's what the official... Um, tax record says, which means that somebody didn't fix the description with the county after they got the fourth bedroom put in in the basement. And I believe it was just listed as one and a half bath. But when we were looking at it from when we were living in Florida, we had the agent out here do a walking tour. Not a big deal. Go walk through the place. Send us pictures. So we sat there in Florida and watch them move around by way of the phone. And we never thought to check once we got the settlement done to see what the actual um what the actual tax record said to see if it matched up, you know? And this is the cream blush palette. Yeah, these colors should look fairly familiar if you're Anyway, 
most of these colors are in the little putties. Um, these are some of my favorites anyway, so. Yes, I don't put it on the apples of my cheeks because they're down here now. So I just kind of brighten up a little bit there and kind of blend it into that bronzer a little bit. But I bring it up higher over here. So it looks like I've got something going on. It's like the apples of my round cheeks that used to be way up here are now way down here. <laughs> Getting older is not for wimps. <laughs> it's like I get people telling me I shouldn't be wearing shiny stuff. I get people telling me I shouldn't be wearing flashy clothes. And it's like, seriously, who the heck do you think you're talking to? Because, yeah, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. And as far as I'm concerned, them fashion gurus that are saying that stuff, they have exactly one way to step on this, and that's off. It's like, trot along. Go find somebody else who wants to hear. Find somebody who cares. Because it ain't me. I ain't got a thing for you. I don't care if you think that older women should be quiet and demure. This is not happening. Not. Let's see. Let's grab one of my brushes here. And I'm going to take... shadow palette and I've got some stuff in here like that gold that'll probably work as a highlight I'm gonna try well try I'm gonna try not to get too crazy <laughs> Yes, you'll see my wrinkles more. <gasps> now, there's a lot of things about my body that have changed over the years. I have been up and down and up and down. And I got things worse this part of my arm is starting to get flappy. And it's who it, it's what it is. I've got I'm not a young chick anymore. I'm not sure I was ever really a young chick to begin with because I've had some stuff happen. stuff. Yeah, they ought to work. I'll take the other brush I've got that's got a much bigger footprint. And just 
dust that around a little more. That'll probably be the my highlight for the rest of this adventure in moving. Like I said, wasn't so bad when I was the agent. And yes, I did that job for a while. And then we had that financial readjustment, the economic downturn when it came to houses back around 06. And I've only been working about a year. I used to really like it. But that downturn caused me enough trouble. I stopped doing it because it wasn't worth it. Most of the houses in the area, I was still just outside of Washington, D.C. at the time. The housing market was just flat. People were trying to sell the houses that they had gotten into trouble with because they got in over their head with these mini mansions. And then once everything blew up, there was no value in them. They weren't worth a thing. And these people had these humongous mortgages on these houses and they couldn't sell them. But they'd all lost their jobs and they couldn't, they couldn't pay for them. So like everybody's crying, everybody's having a cow. Now, let's see what I'm going to do for a lip. Yes, I've got a bunch of elf stuff and a few other things. I've got... Oh, that's elf. That's elf. Oh, look. It's a Revlon. Super lustrous. And I've got... Which one? The Revolution in Cranberry that, that Leanne sent me. And, and, and the Santi that came in one of the boxes. Now, see, you got to be careful because there's Leanne who's in New York and there's Leanna who's somewhere else that's part of the, um, part of the Keep It Real group. And then I've got a bite. And then I've got some more elf in here. I've got cheeky and power mauve. <laughs> it's one of their little tiny bottles. And then I can't read it. Another little tiny bottle. And all this stuff. And lo and behold, I even have some perfume in here. It's not that bad. Kenzie 10 Pretty say so. It, it's not bad. It came out of the box. I think this was part of the stuff that Leanne sent me. And I've got three little, little pencils in here. Burgundy Nude 
and Pinky. They're all part of the LA Color stuff that I pick up at Dollar Tree. Let's see. If I go with the Visanti, Pinky should work. Visanti has gotten me more compliments over the time I've had it. The Santi came in one of the boxes. I don't even remember which box. But I love it. It's gorgeous. Now, when I first started doing this channel, I rarely did lip pencil. But As I have gotten older, I have had to admit that I'm getting them old lady wrinkles going around and the lipstick just crawls right up them. So I'll put this on in hopes. of trying to corral the rest of the lip color. I love this color. It's so pretty. Alright. There we go. Now, I was thinking about putting some jewelry and stuff on because I got some little ear wires here that I've been sticking through the tunnels got a pair of these. These match the tattoo in the middle of my back. I'll have to see if I can dig up one of the pictures. So yeah, I've got a Luna Moth in the middle of my back. Nice sized one. I've got, yeah, three tattoos at this point. I've got this little one up here and I've also got the one, the one in the middle of the back and one on the right hip. I'm jonesing for more ink, okay? Now, a little bit of setting spray. AOA Studios. This one with the little A plus at the top, when you buy this one, it's not a dollar, it's a dollar eighty-eight. The additional money goes to education programs. See, you've got A+, plus, which goes to education programs, or you can get the Paw Paw, which goes to rescue animals, and then they've got one with a lot of their stuff that goes to ecology projects. Not bad, huh? For a little cheap place. I love the place. Some of the best brushes I've ever run into. 
and the dang brushes are all of a dollar a piece unless you get the, the eye the um, eye and face brush sets where you get like let's see where is it there's one AOA studio this is the high definition brush F2 they've also got an E2 which is about this big around but with the same profile it makes an absolutely wonderful brush for putting on eye primer or concealer or whatever I dearly love their setting spray it doesn't stay wet very long and you're ready to go yeah I think the setting spray with the A plus on it's like a dollar eighty eight you can get any kind of sponge you want including them silly flocked ones for a dollar and change I don't buy sponges anywhere else except for Dollar Tree now and then if that's only in, in a matter of emergency AOA Studio does great brushes they really do that's where a great quantity of my brushes come from Okay, yep, AOA. 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 Eco Tools. Eco Tools. No clue. <laughs> This is actually an art brush. This is a four that I use when I'm doing some of my liners. This is something I picked up from AliExpress. Sidekick Precise Shadow Brush. This is an elf liner. AOA and AOA. I gotta remember to put those back over here because I gotta clean them. And Elf. I dropped it. Ah! Oh well. Anyway, this is what we got. Tell me what you think. Am I just adorable? But this is it. This is, this is a I just throwing it on kind of look. This is if I get, get uppity when I'm going to the grocery. Or don't want to go over the top when I'm going to the doctor's office even though I do go over the top going there because some of the nurses take bets on what it's going to be what color it's going to be this time this is me this is who I am this is what I am this is the condition of myself I take myself to therapy I remember to take my medications and don't forget if your brain chemistry is not working so that you can deal with things rented chem chemicals is just fine get your meds stay on them they don't do you any good sitting in the jar mental health is important it's part of who you are take care of it there's nothing 
bad. You didn't do anything wrong to end up with mental health issues. It's the way it is. They didn't, there's nothing that you did to deserve it. Take care of it. There's plenty I did to put myself in a situation where I ended up with diabetes. On top of that, my family was rife with it on both sides. But, yeah. I started to change my ways when the words started going around about all the pain that I was in in places because I was over grossing the frame. Then I took up belly dancing. That made some changes. And then I still ended up diabetic and I've been making more changes. But this is who I am. This is the body I am in. There is nothing on this planet that will legitimately get rid of all the wrinkles. I could go in and have my face lifted to next week and there'd still be wrinkles. And I'd still be able to see them. Because my skin is old. Facelift don't fix old skin. Now, if you want to have cosmetic procedures done, go ahead. If it makes you happy, go ahead. Don't let anybody talk you into it if it's not what you want to do. If it is what you want to do, don't let anybody and their good intentions talk you out of it. You do what's good for you. Just remember that. Bye. Hi, this is me. Guess what? We have an update. The house is now pending. Yay! Pending, pending. We need to get past a home inspection, but hey, it's a start. Bye. Mm -hmm.